What's happening guys? So, we're just packing up. Um, we're flying to Wankiawe tomorrow morning. Um, we've got a 4.30 wake up, so we've got to pretty much get a grab at 5 a.m. And then we're gonna be getting a 7 a.m. flight. Uh, me, Nick, and Cal. So, once we get the flight, it's a half an hour flight. I think it costs 45 Australian dollars. 135 ringgit. For me and what in pounds? About uh, 27 pounds. 27 pounds, so that was pretty pretty cheap. It was either that or catch three buses and a, um, a ferry. For so, seven hours. Yeah, for seven hours, so it wouldn't have been ideal. We're just gonna sleep down here on the couches tonight, just so we don't wake anyone up at 4.30. So, just pack a bag, a chuck away, and eat. Um, Extra electrical gear, just in this bag here. But uh, that's pretty much me, so. so. We're gonna pretty much wrap it up here for tonight. Um, and I'll see you nice and early for this plane trip. So, anyway, I'll catch you then. Maccas, get a coffee, uh, maybe a hashy, a little hash brown, cheeky hash brown, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, that, yes. It's really busy here. Really busy. Fuck, you're calling me the busy man. Like 50 people. I oh, know, it's flat out. Yeah. Should have seen Sydney. <laughs> Alright, time to board. The boys are getting a uh, iced coffee. So, gonna jump in line, hold the queue. Got the window seat, but so it's all good. Love a window seat. I will say one thing I didn't think I'd be back on a plane. Hmm? I didn't think I'd be back on a plane. No. We were just going to be catching ferries the whole way, so a bit, uh, a little bit surprised for um, like 50 Australian dollars, but it's not too bad. I can't seven complain. Hours. Yeah, seven hours, three buses, one ferry. That was the other option, so we chose 35 minute flight. It's a lot easier. So anyway, I'll uh, see you guys when we land. Look at that. Like I said, we're in the air, cruising for five minutes, not even. Insane. It's such a nice day. Such a nice day. Look at that. The way you start your morning. I'm coming up. Just jumped off the plane. Now we're going to the pub. Yes! So we just got to 
Langkiawi Airport from uh, Penang or Georgetown. So there's our uh, liquor that way, duty free. Not that we need it. Beers are going to be cheap enough, but um, yeah, it's pre it's a pretty neat airport. I was expecting um, not this. Really nice. So, anyway, we're gonna um, figure out where we're going, see if we can drop our bags off. But we're staying at two different spots tonight. Um, I've got the surprise, you will see it shortly. And um, they're going to Bed Attitude, which I'll be meeting them there tomorrow night. So, to be honest with you, I'll probably be staying there tonight as well just um, not checked in <laughs> so see what happens but um, I'll see you shortly freedom absolute freedom let's get at it we're getting a grab ah. oh. it's pretty much drinking warm milk not good, Starbucks. You've disappointed me. Disappointed me heavily. Oh, it's a doggy. There's, there's a cow. Oh, there's another dog. Oh, there's Nick. They're all dogs. <laughs> they look familiar. All right, I'm gonna go get a scooter, but I'm not gonna buy it here because they're a rip-off. They're charging us, what are they charging us? Nine dollars a day, Australian. Fucking rip-off. So we're gonna go try and get five dollars a day. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do our worst. That, today, today it'll be 35, mildly muggy, um, and I'm probably going to crash on this scooter, but I'll try to avoid that. <laughs> Nick's already pissed. It's not even 8am. Still, bit of a cheese. That is a great sign of partying. I'm excited. So, I am the only one without a bike license. <laughs> We've been riding the bikes for how long? <laughs> Mate, 10 minutes. <laughs> Nick's already come off. <laughs> and Cal drove into a car. <laughs> oh, oh, Cal drove into the bollard. <laughs> Oh, I'm the only one that has not crashed. Oh, yeah, yeah oh. You, you did worse before. 
Oh. Yeah, but that was because faulty brakes. This is because faulty people. <laughs> oh man. But look at her. Look at her. Oh. We gotta go fill them up. They're empty. She said they were kind of full, but they're not. So. And then we're gonna go to a um, go to a little car beach town uh, 30 minutes from here. So I'd love to get to that island. That's insane. These drone shots tomorrow morning and this afternoon from uh, my view, which I can check in at 12. They can only check in at two, so we're probably gonna be ending up going back to um, mine for a few beers. They have a bar here as well. But just um, have a look at this. Still as. And this isn't even the. Uh, that's not even. That's not even the hotel. So you get some sunnies, eh? Can't see. But yeah, we'll jump back on the bikes and we'll um, go for a spin, eh? Yeah, man. Sounds like a plan. little experience I nearly got hit by a car um, yeah half an hour from um, where, we're, where we're all staying we're at um, Datta and Lang um, and there's a massive eagle in front of me which looks sick so probably a good spot to get the drone up might have to Google just to make sure it's allowed but um, this is what we're looking at not too bad of a drive only got hit, nearly got hit once. But um, it's pretty nice, like the views, driving past all the mountains. It's pretty cool. This is insane. Wait till I get the drone up and let's see some, um, hopefully, sick shots. So. I'll get that up now for you. Six spot, added to the list. Uh, the Taran, fuck, I fucked that. The Taran Lang, six spot, added to the list if you haven't already. We are gonna jump back on the uh, scooters, which are over there. And we're gonna fang off to another little beach. Um, it's about 10 k's away. Uh, my fuel gauge says empty, but it's definitely full. Um, they're just dodgy, so jump back on those bad boys and we'll head over to this nice spot that uh, Cal's telling us about. No pressure. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Still can't talk in front of the camera. Huh? What? What? <laughs> All right. 
got the uh, scooter, it was flying. These boys leaving me in the dust. I've got a, uh, I keep having flashbacks that I'm gonna come off. Nah, you're good. But, all these markets. Oh. <laughs> there's the end of the year and obviously mangrove tours. So there's obviously a bunch of activities that you can book. But, I don't think we really need to. Looks, looks insane. From what I can see already. Board bikes, coconuts, and uh, one bloody sick view. I wonder if I can get my drone out there. Good one? Huh? Good one? Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. This is insane. I can't even go for a swim. Fuck. It is insane one it's way too hot for this but look at the view it's actually sick i don't know if it's better than tioman but it's pretty damn close get out of here because there's a massive thunderstorm coming and get back to checking in. I've still got to check in so do the boys so I'm gonna go back to our hostels and uh, just pretty much figure out what we're gonna do after that. So amazing spot. I think we'll have to come back. Yeah maybe early early one morning but um yeah oh mate it sounds like there's more than one spot just as good looking as this and um Oh, I'm so keen, I'm so keen. Those drone shots were amazing, absolutely amazing. But um, yeah, we got a bit of a drive, so gonna get on it. And um, I'm gonna put the GoPro away for the uh, drive back just so I can concentrate. So anyway, I'll talk to you soon. What's happening guys? Look at that view. It's insane, eh? But, this place is not very good. To be honest with you, I've stayed at better hostels that are on the bottom of my hostel list so far. Um, just in regards to facilities, um, like it's just disappointing. Like I'm paying 80 Australian dollars a night for one night. Um, it was random before, unfortunately, which is fine. I, I totally get, obviously, monsoon season but this entire door frame is not waterproof like I had water dripping on the inside here at your feet which is the only area that you can stand unfortunately um, I knew that when I was booking it so that's not the problem but um, you know it's not waterproof unfortunately this for some reason was leaking the entire time it was raining. Um, it's just unfortunate to be honest with you. This door, this door unfortunately doesn't even stay open because these are broken. So, you know, like that's not even the worst problem. The fact that I don't have water in my bathroom at the moment is insane. I don't have any water at all. I can't even have a cold shower. 
which I've done at many of hostels um, without hot water. It's not a problem, I don't care if I have a cold shower, but you know, I would like a shower. Um, or to wash my hands or you know, just be hygienic in general. What about this? So, my door is absolutely bugged. And it's about to come off after doing that again. But before it swung open and it's just pulled off all the screws. Uh, there you go. So, I now have a bathroom with a view. <laughs> Let's go in the bathroom. <laughs> no hot water, no cold water. Toilet paper, fully wet. <laughs> um, so it looks like I'm using the bidet, but I don't have water. <laughs> Um, shower, once again, no hot water, or cold water, I don't care. Um, we do have power though, so, you know, that's really good. Um, you know, you just kind of expect a $80 a night hostel or hotel. This is one of the more expensive ones that I've spent, and it is absolute garbage, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna go have a chat to the manager and hopefully you can um, rectify this for me because it's really disappointing to because it's got an awesome location awesome view you know you can sit on the frame and just look at that um so it's just a little inconvenient like obviously there's no undercover area when it rains so like that that's been a bit you know Princessy, I don't really care about that. It's just little things like that that have kind of just made big things like that <laughs> um, a little bit, a little bit worse. So anyway, I'm gonna try and put this fucking door back on. Um, and go have a chat to this bloke about everything. So you know, he just didn't. You didn't give me any information when I came here as well. Like I'm paying top dollar for one of the best rooms here. And um, I'm gonna be asking for my money back, I think. Oh well, we'll go see what he has to say. So, uh, full refund, but I need to, um, I need to find some new accommodation. I got a free beer out of it, but um, yeah, you just, I don't know, just kept trying to palm it off to the bloke's work in here, trying to fix it. Just kept making up excuses, unfortunately, so. Anyway, I'll go pack my stuff. I'm gonna go meet Cal and uh, Nick um, on the beach, and then I'm gonna see if I can book anywhere else um, around here for the night, otherwise I'm on the street. All right, guys. So we have found some accommodation, and it's um, a lot closer to everything. So like, I'm um, he gave me like a fifty dollar discount as well, RM ring it. But um, yeah, he was like, oh, look, I feel sorry for you. I had a chat to the manager on the phone because they weren't too sure if they had any rooms available. But um, yeah, he gave me a fifty dollar discount. Usually one hundred forty one a night. Um, ended up paying ninety. 91 a night, so it's only for tonight, so it's pretty good, it's not too bad. So it doesn't have a view, but it's a lot better. <laughs> We've got a fridge, we got a double bed, so I'll show you that. It's pretty basic, it's pretty much all the same over here. Yeah, they have their toilets with their showers. But um, once again, it's you know, better than some of the hostels around, so I will take it. Um, I'm going to pretty much wrap up tonight. Um, I'm shanked, I'm gonna have a shower, go to bed. I'm gonna be hanging out with a few different people tomorrow, Cal, um, 
Nick, um, and there's a few other people that I might catch up with from uh, previous hostels um, that you guys haven't met yet, but um, I'm sure you will. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm bugging and I'm sunburnt. So my back is, my back got absolutely smashed. So at least I've got a bed. So yeah, and um, I do not recommend going to, um, I'll put it up here, because I can't remember the name, but Tubes Hostel. Um, the owner, shocking, rude. He was rude to his workers as well. Just kind of barking orders. Um, didn't really want to bar at me. I had a good discussion with him, um, and he pretty much just kept blaming them, you know, for not maintaining it. Um, didn't really own up to any issues. Always just said, oh, look, it's, it's not that bad. I was like, mate, it's pretty bad. So, you know, it is what it is, but I just didn't want to stay there. I'm gonna have a shower, go to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning for another big day.